Hey, Shalom, Hashem, when the stuff is always about giving no praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. The blonde is the positive GMS and honesty both is doing the work in truth, was sincerity. Uh, yeah, this one is just going to be a real quick one. Um, you know, you get, you know, some of these other reprobates that talk about how, uh, you know, make statements like how Eden, you know, not all Edomites, uh, which are going to be destroyed, this, that, and the other. What you got to understand is one Edomite equals all the Edomites. Right, if you have one Edomite man, you could potentially bring back all of the Edomites. Uh, would you call it? Or you could you could potentially bring back all of the Edomites. And why would we want that? Right. And in fact, I'll start off with this first. Right. This is Malachi one and four. Says, Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Right. You know, so they're the border of wickedness. All right, so wherever they go, they bring wickedness with them. And why do we want that in the kingdom? Why do you want wickedness in the kingdom? Well, here it is. It's just supposed to be a thing for, or what would you call it, a thing of peace. Um, you know, it's just supposed to be Israel ruling and the other nations in subjection. You read Proverbs 29 and 2, it says the nations are going to be happy. Um... When Israel rule, you read um, uh, what you call Isaiah fourteen. You you know the scriptures talk about how you know everyone's going to rejoice at Esau being uh, taken down, right? But give Esau the chance to do wickedness. Esau will do wickedness, because right? that's just in his nature. The scriptures talk um, kind of let the Ethiopian change his skin, right? Uh, I don't even know how to spell Ethiopian properly. Um, Ethiopian. That's close. Well, this is Jeremiah thirteen twenty three says, "Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil." Right, and the Edomites are accustomed to do evil, and these guys, were they to be in a kingdom, will be trying to do evil all the time. Right, look at them, they've been given free reign to do whatever they want. Now they've got sex robots, you got men changing into women, women changing into men. I'm a slucky of men becoming, you know, asexual, people marrying objects. You have one woman married to a roller, you know, like a theme park ride. Other women married to like lights and shit, like weird shit. Right, and this is, the, this is all under this man's um rulership. Right, so you, do you really want that in the kingdom? Right, let me also get that in numbers as well, right? Because the lineage is defined by a father. This right, so is Numbers 1 and 18. It says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upwards by their poles, right? So a lineage is, is set by, by your father. Right, so like I said, if you've got one Edomite male that survives after a thousand years, right, then you've got all Edomites. Right, this is Genesis twenty five twenty one. It says, And Isaac entreated Yahweh for his wife, because she was barren. And Yahweh was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of Yahweh. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, right? So two nations. So from those two two men, right, came two nations: Esau, the Edomites, and the Israelites, right? And you know, look at uh, look what this uh, scripture say about Israel. Israel is as the sand of the sea, and that's from one man, right? And you've got a lot of Edomites out there today, and that's all from one Edomite man, right? Um, so you have one Edomite saved, then you have all Edomites, right? Let me also get a character of Esau. This is John eight forty four. Says year of your father the devil. Now, this is actually in reference to to, to wicked Jakes, right? But I'm here more for the description of of of, of what is uh, what you call it attributed to Esau, right? This is uh, because it's talking about Jake, wicked Jakes. I basically have that wicked mentality. Right, like Esau, it says, and lust of your father, you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. He was a murderer from the beginning. 
he saw when he was, uh, what do you call it, first on the earth as Cain, right, and abode not in the truth, uh, because there is no truth in him, right, what was that, is that, is that, is that Psalms 58 and 3? Yeah, it says, uh, Psalms 58 and 3 says, the, the wicked are strange from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies, right? You know, so, so they're liars, they're thieves, they're killers. Why do you want all of that in the kingdom? We don't, you know, I don't know about you. I just want to chill in the kingdom, man. For eternity, just chill. Right, but these these guys say, oh, no, you know, there'll be some need might say one, you know, that they're just blast, you know, they're going to, um, going against the scriptures. We get them revelations. Add or remove... I was uh, add all right this is uh revelations twenty two eighteen right it says for I testify unto every man that have the words of the prophecy of this book if any man shall add add unto these things the most high shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book right and also the same thing which are uh, you know to take away right to add or to remove from the scriptures and these guys are adding to the scriptures because one they're completely going against prophecy because the prophecy says in obadiah right obadiah 1 and 18 says the house of jacob shall be a fire and the house of joseph a flame and the house of esau for stubble for they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of esau for yahweh hath spoken it right all right so when the lord uh what would you call it um, after a thousand years of hardcore servitude and bondage, right, East was going to be completely destroyed. There will be no more Edomites remaining. And I mean, how can you? What? What did the scriptures contradict themselves now? You calling the Messiah a liar? Right? You your scriptures say the Messiah is not a man that he should lie, right? Nice as Numbers twenty three nineteen says God the most high is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Right, it says hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? Right, so the most high says something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. If you think the scriptures uh, would you call it uh, contradict themselves, then you're the problem, I'm afraid. Right? So uh, yeah, Lord's all you edified and uh yeah, until the next time, Shalom.